Hi, this is Brad Smith from Beersmith.com, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about how to use the recipe adjustment tools in the new Beersmith web. You can try Beersmith web for free by going to BeersmithRecipes.com and starting your 30-day trial there. I'm going to start by opening up this dry Irish stout recipe, and I'm going to go up to the adjust gravity tool, which is right up here on the menu bar. And I'm going to drive the gravity up on this particular beer to uh, 1050 to drive the alcohol up just a little bit. You can obviously adjust it to any level you want. And when I push OK, it's going to adjust all the amounts of all the grains used in the recipe so that I hit my target gravity of 1050 down here at the bottom. I can do the same thing with bitterness. I can go in here and drive the uh, bitterness level up to uh, about 50. I get 50.3 there. And when I push OK, you can see it adjusts the uh, hop amounts up. And if I had multiple hops, it would adjust those as well. And it gives me 50.3 IBUs, which is exactly what I had in the box there. And finally, I can adjust the color. Let's say I want to go to, uh, I don't know, 42.1 is what I've got here. You can obviously put the number in here too. So I could, for example, put in 45 if I want that to be the color. And when I push OK, what it's going to do is it's going to adjust the ratio between the uh, dark and light colored grains uh, to match the color exactly. Down here you can see the predicted color for the recipe. Uh, it's exactly 45, which is what I entered. Uh, this does work better with darker colored beers. Obviously, if you have a really light colored beer uh, and you start playing with the color, it's going to create problems because uh, there's just not that much flexibility in many cases between the lighter colored malts and, and other lighter colored malts, for example. So this does work better with darker colored beers. And I want to show you, show you two other tools that are quite useful. One of them is a fermentable percentage here. I can click on this and I can adjust the percent of each fermentable. Uh, a lot of us and a lot of professional brewers, in fact, work in percentages instead of working in uh, pounds and ounces or kilograms. Uh, so you can go in here and say, I want, you know, 65% pale malt, and 20% uh, flake barley, and so on. And I can adjust all those percentages, and when I press OK, uh, it'll adjust all the amounts to match the percentages that I typed in here. It also shows the total percentage down here. And then the final tool I want to show you is the hop adjustment tool. Now, in this case, not that interesting because I only have one hop in this particular recipe, but if I had multiple hops, it would list all of them here. And I could set the individual IBU level for each one. Even the Whirlpool adjustments would be included. Um, so I could set individual IBU contributions here to try and get to my total. And again, when I push OK, it's going to adjust all the hop amounts to match that. Um, so those are some of the tools available when you're building recipes in Beersmith uh, Web. They're also available on the desktop version, and you can find similar dialogues if you're accessing from the mobile uh, site. For example, if you're accessing from your phone, you can go to beersmithrecipes.com and work from there as well. Uh, using your free trial, and again, to get that free trial, just go to beersmithrecipes.com and click on the Start Trial button. Um, thank you for listening, and again, go to beersmith.com if you want to track the latest going on with Beersmith.